Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Violet, where last episode we started a new session with a little bit of trading as we obtained some of the Scarlet exclusives before starting the next leg of our journey, entering the Dali Zappa Passage of Glaciado Mountain to start catching as we now explore this massive area. They're everywhere. Well, I'm probably good for this route too when you look at it. But I'm way higher level than it now. When we came here, we were like equal. If a little lower, I'm not sure. When Cubchu starts sneezing, watch out. If it spatters you with its frosty snot, you'll get frostbite. Wow, double, uh. Double trouble. Supposedly Flareons appear here, but probably during certain weather conditions. Probably not during the snowy night, is what I'd imagine. I mean, to be honest, he appears. So to say Flareon can't. I'll have a little look around. Looking at the guy going, I wouldn't know if you were a shiny or not. Some Pokemon have such subtle things that their, their bib is a different color. Or their eyes are a different color. As I understand it, Charcadet Shiny has blue eyes. Hooray! It's really easy to see a Charcadet's eyes from a distance, isn't it? I'll definitely be able to find that. I have little Leo, right? Yeah. Right, well, let's actually set off towards our destination then. We probably have most of the Pokemon on the way. So was it a left turn or a right turn? Obviously a left. Should we take out this trainer first though? Wait a second. Why am I just skipping past the Magnetons when I definitely do not have a Magneton? Where are you going? Just been like ignoring them, but it's gonna it's gonna be like that's incorrect. <laughs> but it won't be gold, yeah I know, right? Annoyingly status effect. Well, I just better throw balls from here on out. Octolio and Tinkerton levels up. Tinkerton wants to learn the move Flatter. Flatter is... Flattery is used to confuse the target. How this also boosts the target special attack stat? No thanks. I don't use strategy here. Magneton, they're formed by several Magnemite linked together. They frequently appear when sunspots flare up. Meow. All the Magnemite. Magnemite now. Scatter! They got the boss! <laughs> they got the boss! Get out of there! Don't you- Don't wait, Ruffler! <laughs> I saw you making a move. Right, you trainer. You sense a strong ore, do you? Your Pokemon seems really strong. I want to battle them. He doesn't know what he's got himself in for. That's a. F That's different. Cool. Well, first of all, let's beat it. Because my ghost typing should come in handy here. 
<laughs> oh, wait a second. Power of Sarah Lich's fire type moves Rose. So he's fire type. Tauros. But he can't hit me. Because I'm... Oh, psychic! It's got twisty tails. So it's right that you were. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a switch. I like these big blobs that are walking around. I do like an ice Pokemon from time to time. Man, I've been filling this up quick. Why? <laughs> so this thing is massive on the field, but on the box it's tiny. <laughs> What's with that? Should I put you in place of? Pormo! Is Pormo finally to be retired? There's a Flareon! I guess I need to go hunt more, uh... Yeah, Pormo does have paralysis for captures, but work trio shiny. <laughs> what do I choose? Also, Pormo is several levels higher than most of my Pokemon. So I think it can go out for a little bit of time. Would you agree? Right, I'm going to flame charge into this now. Oh, you've got it as well? <laughs> okay. Fair news. <laughs> we'll just look at each other a bit. Can't really take you down anymore now. But I think Pormo can be out for a, the tiniest bit of time on the basis that it has two levels over everyone else. And also, I'm not doing too bad now. I've got Ultra Balls and just straight up capturing them. Flareon! It fluffs out its fur collar to cool down its body temperature, which can reach 1,650 degrees Fahrenheit. The catching continues. All right, we've got two evolutions now. Big and small. Off I go then. So this is Glaciodo Mountain. That's kind of where I thought we were in the first place, to be honest. Hauntus! But you can hunt here for shiny those guys. I want to shiny one of them guys. Yeah, sure. That'll work for me. Oh, well, I'm... I'm supposed to catch it. Oops. Wanna come back? I don't know where I went. Yeah, I'll just beat it with a super effect. Oh. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Found a ghost terror shard. Over here is a haunch crow. Which actually is not a good matchup. But okay. I'll go with it, I guess. <laughs> okay, we're confused. It's fine. I'm going to throw balls from here on out. We're just getting into the areas now where there's a ton of Pokemon to catch of evolved type, isn't there? No! Get in the box with your silly hat. I don't end have any nasty plots. <laughs> Go from free to a one -er, to a zero. Well, I need to go back while it's still nighttime to try and see if that haunter respawns. Murkrow ball obtained. 
A single cry from this nocturnal Pokemon and more than 100 of its Murkrow cronies will assemble. The big boss Pokemon. Big boss. Metal Gear. How dare you take down the boss? I'm not staying. Can you see my Serilege and my ride on here? They're beautifully color schemed. Can't be messing with that, man. Three Ultra Balls on the ground. A draining kiss. Uh, I do have you already, Snorunt. But I don't know if I have a uh, a ring. Maybe it's getting into dawn now. It's a bit worrying. No! Oh. Did nothing. I'm always so like... Like, oh, I can't use this technique properly. Then of course, like people are like, figure it out. And now I'm using the targeting thing to figure out what I've caught or not. It's like, okay, it's useful. But I'll never tell you that. I never say, okay, thank you for forcing me to use the ability. <laughs> no, 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 I'd never do that. I feel like I can admit when I'm wrong, though. I was wrong. I need to use the targeting thing more because at least now it can make me figure out which ones I'm capturing. So I am wrong. I'm wrong a lot, though. It is also quite skilled at climbing trees. If it comes across a primate while searching for berries in the treetops, trouble will surely ensue. I think the primate will win too. Essering. <laughs> Trouble with his shoe because you'll get wrecked. I get lots of critical captures actually. It's actually surprising the amount you get. Okay. Now that the snow has come forth back more to not only tank our visibility but our frame rate. Just what the doctor ordered. Hauntus? No, Hauntus, we need you. Come back. I despawned the Ursa Ring but kept the Teddy Ursus. Is that our slow kicks in the corner? And a snob. Cupchu's hanging out with the teddies now. Well, that haunt is gone. Maybe it's not night enough anymore. Alright, wending back and forth to see anything that we might have missed. Seems to say that for the most part we have everything. You obtained a lot, let's put it that way. Rock dudes. Thought there'd be a TM out here, but doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, there we go. Oh shoot! Aha! I've got my new glide function! Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I believe- What the hell? Hey, go away! I believe I can saw See me running through that open door I believe I can fly I can fly I believe I can fly You like my lovely rendition? Right then, where's the Haunter? <laughs> Up we go! Time to whip out my camera! No! You can appreciate fine art. I'll take an awesome video of this battle with my camera. It's gonna blow up everyone's feeds. Ah, but I'll do the, the thing that people do. They'll say, you can't film me if I say you can't film me. It just kind of doesn't actually work that way, to be honest. <laughs> Not one time has that rule been upheld in multiplayer gaming. Not one time. I can't see myself again. <laughs> Success. K. 
Killer Wattrel is out next. But... I believe in Satoddle! Electric bird versus ice whale thing. It's your first battle. I can't see the enemy though. Oh, that looks cool. Avalanche. So if I'm slower than it, I do double damage. 130 HP is not bad. That's quite cool. 120 power attack in the end. Super effective. Good job there, Sir Doddle. I, I can't post this. <laughs> yeah, you can't post your losses. That's the rule. Only your victories, right, guys? You should edit out all of your fails. I agree. Totally. This is the way. Where am I going? Yeah, the destination says up there. There is a path up here to go, though. Got more roaring lions. Not a lot of Pokemon spawning. I think I've got Gleedon, haven't I? Yes. Come on, why don't you be a shiny for the hell of it? Meow. Be <laughs> the the shiny version has a different coloured like eyeliner. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Hello. You're different. No, oh, come back. Get the woof. <laughs> Houndstone. I imagine Brutal Swing would be very effective. But we don't want to be too effective. So let's go Metal Claw, I guess. That's very ineffective. I'll keep doing it. Well, that's troublesome. Can I switch into anything that will make that not effective? No. <laughs> I mean, Meow Squad makes it not very effective. This is super effective versus me, isn't it? I'm sure you'll be fine, right? You'll totally be fine. Uh, I regret using Mail Claw now. To stop that! Stop that this instance! I don't have a bird to swap into or someone that levitates. cat coming out here like, what are you doing to me? I guess I'll just start throwing Ultra Balls from here on out. There we go. Houndstone. A lovely mourned Pokemon was reborn as Houndstone. It doesn't like anyone touching the protuberance atop its head. I've heard of Houndstone. Uh, I've heard of what Houndstone can do. <laughs> That's why I know of Houndstone. I've heard that Houndstone is ridiculous if it's the last Pokemon alive and uses the move Last Respects. <laughs> In the sand, if I'm right in saying. In the sand is an, is an excellent extra caveat to add. 
No, nope, not you. <laughs> At least I can run from this one. Right, I want the Haunter. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Okay, that was a little closer than I would have liked. It seems not very destined to be at the moment, I've got to say. So my destination is actually under me here. May as well check out what that shiny thing is over there. And try to get back up here. It's not a bad idea. Can I get it for... Oh, what? Oh, no, I'm falling. Help. Oh, wow. What the hell is this big crevasse I've come up to? I guess I'll go back round again. There seems to be a lot of things on top of things there. For example, there's a lovely little dealing having a sleep. Fire spin TM. These haunters are going to haunt me. They don't want me to have them very much, do they? I'm down there too. And a TM. I never could get to my next destination at this rate. It's too much to check out. Bullet seed. All right, so I definitely went the right way first. We gotta, we gotta seemingly drop down to that Pokemon Center to begin our next leg of the journey. But I'm assuming it's a gym next because we've only done five gyms, four Titans, three bases. It makes sense that a gym is my next choice. Right, so I came this way. I fought the Hound Doom. Then I fell down because I saw the Haunter. Well, there's definitely a new catch for me to get. Fracture. Yeah, I thought so. I think I can jump back up, though. Maybe? I think I can hit it one more time. And that'll put it safely in the red for an improved capture. But I'll just ultra bullet now and get it. Works for me. My 200 Pokedex yet? What do you reckon? Fracture uses its fixed tusks to neatly cut prey into two portions, one to eat now and one to save for later. The rationing Pokemon. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. And young thing's breaking the mold again. I reckon one of these axes is in combat with me again as soon as I start. Yeah. Might just have to start annihilating the best of the pack. So is the poker center down there? I'm assuming yes. Oh, stump! 
<laughs> Was that shiny or did that just make a noise? I don't even know. I'll just catch you anyway. Yeah, it just made a noise. But I was just like, oh, I wasn't looking because I was just... I was flabbergasted by the fact that I jumped up, got bounced off by one snom directly onto another snom. Like, no. You will snom. There is no way out of this. Snom is going to happen. I may as well just get down and grab my protein, bro. The snom and you'll like it, Evs. Very much force, that was. Oh, there's a thing there. Experience candies are probably going to be good for any evolution we intend to do in the future. Or even for a Pokemon catch-up as well as the... Uh, the main thing to think of here. Some ruins over here. I'd expect to find an ominous black stake in this corner. Instead, I found a hypno. <laughs> I don't even know if I found a drowsy. The hypno's living in this place. Found a hypno colony. You ever just set out a Pokemon in Let's Go mode and it just runs circles around you like Gleeful Child? Literally what happened to me last at the end of last session with uh Sarah Ledge here running around like a Gleeful Child. I was like, this isn't edgy. Do edgy things. Say that the world is a blight and humanity is a virus. <laughs> Always holding a pendulum that swings at a steady rhythm, it causes drowsiness in anyone nearby. We haven't found a drowsy. I, don't even, I actually think we haven't found a drowsy yet. Yeah. So we've got a hypno. I'm missing the prior form. I can't move. Look here, you little Pokemon. I may as well touch this for the LP it gives. A normal type Numel. I just want to go here. Can I go higher? Ah, yes. There's a rock up on the map. There's a Bronzong down here too now. No, you... Yeah. Success. A Zinc. Stealth Rock. Really need to hit that Pokemon set that I've missed now. Right, Bronzong, how are we going to deal with you? I'm going to throw a quick ball in the hopes that we actually catch you first turn and I don't get poison damage. So, as I understand it, because I mentioned to Becca that I had to catch these synesthes to get the synesthe chips for her armor and it's kind of like hard to like get them. I thought that... Uh, I don't know what to go with, actually, when I think about it. Um... I think I might just be letting you get knocked out at this rate. I'll throw an Ultra Ball. So I think I found out that the other armor that you get needs Bronzongs. Or, you know, the Bronzors. So that was annoying. It's like, they, they, she was just like, what? They're everywhere. They're really easy to find. And I'm like... 
do not like. How dare you? Yeah, it's all super effective, I know. At least you just have the choice between super effective. Okay, Terrell is just down for the count. I'm the worst trainer ever. And bronze are a lot easier to find. Yeah, that's what I was told. I was just like, what? How is it that? Why are you like this? Right, we can't actually see our position anymore. It's the state of play we need to be in. Critical capture, of course, to finish it off. Bronzong was cool. Our Pokedex keeps on swelling. Right, we need to hit the uh, Pokemon Center so Sarah Ledge can come back now. It brought rain by opening portals to another world. It was revered as a bringer of plentiful harvests. Is the Bronzong? We don't even have Bronzor. Oh no, we do have Bronzor. Totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I knew that. Well, let me grab this. Then I'm gonna... Then I'm gonna get out of this. Reach destination, Sam. Uh, clean my mind, sure. Ooh. I can see a town from here. Not exactly sure where I'm going. What? Hello, buddy. I'm trying to get to the Pokemon Center, but it does seem to actually be underground. That's the problem. I don't want to commit to the fooling until I've figured out where it is. Because if I need to climb all the way back up again, that sounds like a right pain. Can I go off from the very top of this? Yes, I can. So it looks like it... Yeah, it's definitely down there. Let's go, <laughs> right on! But... <laughs> Took a while, but we did finally arrive at the destination. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Pokemon Center. I definitely, they do need a rest. Right, I finally reached it. Now we got a plot journey too. I can hear a gimme all coin too. I've got like 300 or so coins currently, I think. Right, Bagon. That land it. How many Pokemon? Tra two trainers in Dali's Upper Passage. We need to defeat four. Unfortunately, there was one above us that we didn't fight because Sarah Ledge was out for the count. Where are you? 